Well, the first time I ever got a check from the recording industry, the first thing I did was I went out and bought an acoustic guitar. Because for me, that was like, that was the summit of I've arrived, I'm a real artist and I can, I can write a real song. As anybody who knows who plays acoustic instruments, there's a real intimacy there that how you play is more in line with the way you feel. For example, if you take a song like Tonight Tonight, it's all in the... It's whatever orchestra I want it to be. It's a small combo, it's a 60-piece orchestra. It's like it's all right here in front of me. Most things on guitars really don't change the sound. I mean, yeah, 2%. Fine, but I mean, I'm interested in really radical change that you would notice night in, night out, and you would say, because of that, all these other things are now allowed to happen. And I did notice when we put in the brass pins, there was a different sort of harmonic structure in the guitar that was brought forth. There was more sort of upper mid harmonics. And again, in a live situation, that really does translate through to the audience. I think there's a good translation here for me is, I'm a songwriter and I wrote songs on this guitar. And so that makes me feel good because I know if I could get songs out of it, somebody else will. And I think those are the most successful instruments and those are the most successful relationships where there's sort of a credibility that runs through it. They have to like sort of what the intention of the instrument is. My greatest joy would be for somebody to come up and say, your instrument inspired me to find my own path and I turned into this great singer-songwriter. Like I didn't want to be you, I wanted to be like you in this way. But I like to think that what I represent means something more so that if somebody one day is sitting and holding this exact guitar in their bedroom somewhere and they're writing hits for the 22nd century or something, you know, it'll mean something to them.